Good morning, and welcome to Trinity Lutheran Church in Norbert, Missouri. As you can see, I'm not Pastor Shar. Um, for those of you that tune in that don't know me, I'm Ian Davidson. I'm the one who puts together all the Facebook posts and the videos on Sunday mornings. Um, Pastor is recovering nicely, and uh, we'll definitely be offering many prayers for him this morning. Um, for this morning, we're going to follow along uh, with the litany that's found in LSB page 288 or in the handouts that I've sent out to you via email. So with that, we'll go ahead and begin. O oh Lord, have mercy. O oh Christ, have mercy. O oh Lord, have mercy. O oh Christ, hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy. Be gracious to us, spare us, good Lord. Be gracious to us, help us, good Lord. From all sin, from all error, from all evil, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from sudden and evil death, from pestilence and famine, from war and bloodshed, from sedition and from rebellion, from lightning and tempest, from all calamity by fire and water, and from everlasting death. Good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, Help us, good Lord. In all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death and in the day of judgment, help us, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you to hear us, O Lord. To rule and govern your holy Christian church, to preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word, and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and causes of offense, to bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, to beat down Satan under our feet, to send faithful laborers into your harvest, and to accompany your word with your grace and spirit. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to raise those who fall and to strengthen those who stand, and to comfort and help the weak, the weak hearted, and the distressed, we implore you to hear us, good Lord. To give to all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our president and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all our people, to watch over and help all who are in danger necessity and tribulation, to protect and guide all who travel, to grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children, increasing happiness in their blessings, to defend all orphans and widows and provide for them, to strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children, to free those in bondage and to have mercy on us all, we implore you to hear us, good Lord. To forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their heads, to give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth, and graciously to hear our prayers. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Do not reward us according to our iniquities. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you desire not the death of a sinner, but rather that we turn from our evil ways and live. Graciously spare us those punishments which we by our sins have deserved, and grant us always to serve you in holiness and pureness of living. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Old Testament reading for the fifth Sunday of Easter is from Isaiah chapter 12. You will say in that day, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, for though you were angry with me, your anger turned away. That you might comfort me, behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid, for the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation, and you will say in that day, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let this be made known in all the earth. Shout and sing for joy, O inhabitant, o inhabitant of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The epistle reading is from James chapter 1. Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Of his own will he will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness that God requires. Therefore, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 16th chapter. Jesus said, Now I am going to him who sent me, and none of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin, and righteousness, and judgment. Concerning sin, because they do not believe in me. Concerning righteousness, because I go to the Father, and you will see me longer, concerning judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. Therefore, I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now sing hymn 556.
prayers this morning will remember Pastor Sharp as he recovers and gets some much needed rest. We bring these petitions and the prayer of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty God, we give thanks for all your goodness and bless you for the love that sustains us from day to day. We praise you for the gift of your Son, our Savior, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. We thank you for the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, for your holy church, for the means of grace, for the lives of all, thank for all faithful and just people, and for the hope of the life to come. Help us to treasure in our hearts all that you have done for us, and enable us to show our thankfulness in lives that we are that are wholly given to your service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Save and defend your whole church, purchased with the precious blood of Christ. Strengthen your faithful people through the world and the holy sacraments, making them perfect in love and all good works, and establishing in them the faith once delivered to the saints. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant your wisdom and heavenly grace to all pastors and to those who hold office in your church, that by their devoted service, faith may abound and your kingdom increase. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In your mercy, strengthen newly established congregations and support them in challenging times. Make them steadfast, abounding in the work of the Lord, and let their faith and zeal for the gospel refresh and renew the witness of your people everywhere. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Preserve our nation in justice and honor that we may lead a peaceable life with integrity. Grant health and favor to all who bear office in our land, especially the President and Congress of the United States, the Governor and Legislature of this state, and to all those who make, administer, and judge our laws. Help them to serve this people according to your holy will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Sanctify our homes with your presence and bless them with joy. Keep our children in the covenant of their baptism and enable their parents to bring them up in lives of faith and devotion. Unite the members of all families in a spirit of affection and service that they may show your praise in our land and in all the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <clears throat> By your word and Holy Spirit, comfort all who are in sorrow or need, sickness or adversity, especially this morning, Pastor Sharp. Be with those who suffer persecution for the faith. Have mercy on those to whom death draws near. Bring consolation to those in sorrow and grant to all a measure of your love, taking them in your tender care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember with thanksgiving those who have loved and served you in your church on earth, who now rest from their labors. Keep us in fellowship with all your saints, and bring us at last to the joys of your heavenly kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things and whatever else you know that we need, grant us, Father, for the sake of him who died and rose again, and now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.